Hello and welcome to another Maggie's Bears, Wines and Spirits review. So today we're reviewing this fella, Czech Pilsner from Sainsbury's. Um, Five percent premium beer, full-bodied, balanced Czech lager with a wonderful bitter hop aroma. Sounds nice, let's see. So I'm in full brewing processes now. I've got three barrels full of wine. I've got three buckets with uh, wine brewing. And uh, oh, it's, got a, it's got an aroma to it. I thought I'd go with a cannabis then. Oh, my neck. And, and then I've also got me two six bottle um, fermentation devices going. So I'm in full brew mode now. Um, I wanted to try a few more booze. These good, these ginger ones are going to be here for a while, the looks of things. Um, fermenting away slowly, and I do mean slowly. So, gold pour, good lacing around the edge and carbonation, white head. Much more hoppy aroma when I first opened the bottle. Like I say, it's not like a bit of like a, a tiny whiff of cannabis for a second, and I don't do cannabis or like that. I've smoked enough of the stuff, but I don't do it. Yep, nice light malt aroma. Um, on sale at Sainsbury's at one pound fifty, and from over from nine reviews, it's got a four point five uh, rating. Yeah, well balanced, zesty aroma, and a smooth hoppy bitterness. Serve well chilled. Well. I'm chilled, so, and it's it's not yeah, it's pretty cool in there. It's not I won't say it's chilled, but it's cool. Now sweetness on the taste initially. Nice bite in the back end. Pleasant tasting lager. Mm. Yeah, nice bite to taste. Not bad at all, I think. It is going to be the, the thing I'm going to have to start doing soon with reviews. Is to actually go through supermarkets and write lists of stuff that I've not reviewed on the channel. Uh, that's going to be a boring thing to do, but... There's, there must be lots of stuff out there that I haven't reviewed. And getting it in single bottle form is a bit of a crippler. Um, obviously not working at Sainsbury's anymore. I can't get it that route. You know, uh, off the tap. You know, in broken cases and that. Getting one of each. Because for me, that's a brilliant way of doing it. Um, and cheap as well. Much cheaper way of doing it. I think it's, I shall be using the likes of... Um, low cost beer, drink supermarket and places like that to get beers that you, I can't get elsewhere and maybe hopefully single bottles I don't really want to spend you know with, you don't, it's not cheap reviewing all these beers and obviously I don't get them for free so I have to um, look at the financial side of things I mean, although I like drinking the stuff obviously So, got a nice smooth taste to it. Uh, obviously, it's crisp and refreshing, as lagers should be. If they're not, if ciders and lagers aren't crisp and refreshing, there's something wrong. Um, as also in most golden and pale ales, it's what they're there for, what they're designed to do, and, and, to, and, and to some extent, IPAs as well. Um, What's interesting with me with reviewing is I look at obviously yeah you look and see what beers get uh, stronger views and lagers for some reason lagers get a lot of views and is that because nobody else is reviewing lagers um, or is it just catching people at the right time I mean today I've done 
uh, a few uh, homebrew, um, not homebrew, but I've done several homebrew videos um, setting up my new, ki my new kits and I'm going to stagger them because what I found out the other week there was too many in one go and uh, too much saturation shall we say so that's something that I need to um, think about as, as time goes on but when I do a homebrew update I'll, I'll update the whole lot in one go not do like it's too much hassle messing about doing one video for one but uh, okay. waiting to see even these start bubbling away. Actually, got a lager on the brew. Looking forward to that. And uh, if it works out well and tasty, and tastes as it should taste, then I'll I'll probably do some more lagers because it, it is nice to have uh, something refreshing for the summer months. But anyway, back to this fella. Four o'clock Sunday afternoon, the day has flown by. I mean, we all stood in the queue for nearly two flipping hours. Well, by the time we'd gone in the queue, gone to Tesco's, then went to Wilco's to buy my own brew stuff. And that two hours, it's a good two hours of the day wasted. But there you go, got back and uh, done some good stuff. Can't wait to see how this progresses. A new fermentation bucket as well, tenner. Although I had to drill a hole in the top to put the airlock in. Um, I don't know what this, what you're supposed to use if you can't, you know, because obviously the gases need to get out. And uh, what do they think? It's going to blow the top off. I'm, I'm a bit miffed by that. But what do they think you do it without the top on? Oh no, that's, that's not good. So, as always, yeah, it's um, quite palatable, this is. Um, very easy drinkable, very. A little too easy. 5% taste, you know, I mean, obviously, this is, you look at this as in, in the likes of, um, similar to Pils and the Urca, Urquell, and them sort of lagers. Uh, in the world lager section and it's a good tasting lager it's not too gassy it's more on the smooth side sides with that you know hint of bitterness oh, not too bad at all yes I don't mind I don't mind this at all not bad and Back to work tomorrow. Oh, I'm so looking forward to it. Hoping that things uh, pan out in a good way, but we'll see where that goes. Hopefully tonight we'll get some clarity off Mr Johnson. And something that the others haven't said. Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland have already said what they're doing, basically. So we'll see if he says anything different to them. And now you're allowed to go out and exercise as much as you want. Mm. There's always the piss takers, like the ones up the road from me, who are uh, exercising by going around people's asses drinking beer. And uh, that winds you up. It does when you can't see your own grandkid. And, uh, you know, it's a bit of a, bit of a point. But anyway. I think next week... I may do a local beer delivery next week. Try and get some more local stuff. Stuff that other people probably haven't reviewed yet, you know. And uh, go from there, really. But certainly I'm going to have to start doing some looking at um, what logs I've not reviewed. Um, because it gets to that stage where you look at you, you what you have reviewed and what you haven't reviewed. And there's... It's, it's getting to that. It's very hard to know, to remember what you haven't reviewed. Unless I just go and buy one of everything and just review the lot again, you know.
and in the funny way in the in the start of the channel there's the, the some of the views that, that I've got are so small that it'd be worth re-reviewing them anyway so there's a the thing I mean now I'm getting um, fairly decent reviews um, numbers viewing numbers so it might be an idea for me to uh, start doing some of them again but then again you can only drink so much lager and beer so gold colour pour uh, good lacing and carbonation around the edge white head on the nose um, light moulds I did get a real strange whiff like a cannabisy whiff when I first opened it but it might just be uh, lots of different whiffs in here and it combining um, sweet on the on the taste to start off with um, with an into a good bite in there as well and overall again another decent lager can't fault it for what it is jolly smooth too so and not bad price one pound fifty is not a bad price for Czech lager out of five three point eight out of five that's all right not bad and that's it from this review and probably the last review of the day I would have thought unless I can get a sneaky one in later you never know thanks for watching see you soon cheers